Hi everyone, in this video we will design and assemble a simple convertible car. The convertible mechanism for roof is inspired from a simple 4 bar link mechanism. Let's start. Selecting the front plane, and sketching approximate side view of the car. Using splines to create only the front, door area, and rear of the car. Saving the file as master file. We will create all the components with this master file as reference. Using extrude feature, to create the base of the car. Make sure the dimensions are proportionate to an actual car. Using fillet feature to smoothen the edges. This will make our car curvy and aesthetic. Again, selecting the front plane and creating sketch for windshield, roof, and rear pane of car. Using extrude feature for this sketch as shown. Do not select merge result option. Now, selecting top plane, and convert the edges. Create surface extrude. And use the surface for splitting the solid. Delete the other results of the split. Hide the surface. We now have our basic car body, and its upper components. Changing the transparency of base car solid. Again, selecting front plane. Create sketch for splitting the upper windshield and roof components. Using surface extrude to create a surface. Again, using split feature to create three different solid bodies, for windshield, roof, and back. Creating another sketch on front plane, to make extensions for back component. The back will rotate about the end of this extension. Creating extrude. And merging this result only with back solid. Quickly checking the dimension using evaluate, and modifying the length of extrusion. Hiding the base car body, to visualize and create sketch for 4 bar mechanism. Creating the sketch for two linkages first. One for back, one for roof. Back link has limit up to the rotating point between roof and back. From the fixed center. Creating a circle, to track the complete rotary motion of back. Drawing a line in the circle, which will be the final position of back link. Now, creating a line for final position of roof link. We will use equal mates for these lines. Now, we will try to locate the center point of the connecting link of roof and fixed car. 
creating line for initial and final position of the link. And manipulating its center point position, and fixing it. Now, by dragging the point, we can visualize the 4 bar mechanism, which will be the base of convertible car mechanism. The mechanism is positioned such that it won't interfere with the wheel assembly. The next task is to create the link between roof and the fixed car, with the two extreme points as input. Click on front plane, and start a new sketch. Convert the edges, and offset them. Creating the line sketch for the link. Trim the extra edges as shown. Extruding the line sketch, such that it fits inside the roof and back portion. Filleting the sharp edges. The basic link is created, which is hidden inside the roof and doesn't interfere with other parts. Next step is to create cylindrical extrude in the link, and its counter hole in roof. Make sure to merge this extrude only with the link. Now using the same sketch, cut extrude the portion of roof, such that the link can rotate in it. Similarly, creating circular extrude for rotation between back and roof. Do like, share and subscribe to the channel. Cut extrude its counter hole on the roof. Now, we will make a fixed part, which will later be attached to the car. This part is the fixed link of the 4 bar mechanism. The back will be rotated with respect to this fixed link. The master file now has four different solid bodies, each of them for a different component. Renaming the bodies for our convenience. Now. Use save as to save as different part, roof. In this new roof part, we will delete all other bodies except roof. We now have the roof as a different part with a single body. Similarly, we will create all other parts, from the master file, 
and save them as different parts. We now have four parts, corresponding to four links of four bar mechanism. We will now create a new assembly file, and import all these parts. We will add mates between these parts as shown. We can now visualize the mechanism, by dragging the back component. The basic 4 bar mechanism is working, without interfering with other components. We also have enough clearance for wheels. Now. We need to create a mechanism for opening of car back. Opening the car file. First, creating a cut extrude in the central area of car. We will place the seats later here. Now, using shell command as shown. We will need a hollow car body, to accumulate the mechanism. We will see the section of the car. Now, we need to create the two flaps for opening. Creating a sketch in top plane as shown. Create surface extrude and then split the surface. Similarly, creating surface for rear flap, and then splitting the body. We will then have three separate bodies, which we will save as three different parts. I will suppress the features till shell, as I forgot to create cut extrude for wheels. Creating cut extrude on both sides as shown. Unsuppressing the features again, and checking the section. We will now join the fixed link of mechanism to the car. Creating an extrude, and merging it with the main car body. Now, we will create circular extrudes and cut extrudes so that the components can rotate about each other. Make sure to merge the feature with its correct body. Creating a counter cut extrude. Similarly, creating hinge for rear flap. Now, we have three separate bodies, 
and we will use save as to save them as different parts as shown. We will open the assembly, where we had created the mechanism. Import the flaps, and assemble them. We see the front flap, interfering with the roof movement. Open the car part. I will create a slider, on which the hinge of front flap is mounted, and it will be able to slide down and up. Creating a surface extrude, splitting it from main body, and creating a new body. Creating a guide for the slider. Now, saving the car and slider as separate parts. I have assembled all the basic components, and prepared a motion study for it. Let's check the motion. The details of these motion study will be shown in upcoming video. Do subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for upcoming fun videos. We will do some aesthetic changes to the parts. We will add wheels and seats to the assembly. Creating a separate body for windshield, to give it a transparent effect. Creating headlights as shown. giving LED light appearance to it. Adding appearance to whole body. I have added yellow appearance to every individual part. Now, I will mate the four wheels. Now, I will insert the seat and place them in the car. The complete car is ready. I have added a steering wheel and modified the headlights. The mechanism is working and we can visualize it. We will see the detailed motion study in upcoming videos. Subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for fun videos. Thank you.